What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Newcastle. Today we're checking out Beal Walker. B-E- B-A Walker. It's a game where you play in a chicken-legged walking robot and you either help enslave a planet or protect a planet. So, you know, if you're into giant mecha games, this one seemed kind of interesting. I've had it on my wish list for a really, really long time and it actually kind of surprised me. I didn't expect this one to come out for a while and yet there it was laying inside of my Steam profile this morning when I got up. Uh, with a message from the developer, so let's check the game on out. Uh, this is one of those titles that I've been anticipating for probably about a year now, and I'm I'm raring to go. I'm ready to play it. Let's try it. Establish contact with the local population? Huh. Easy enough, right? Damn savages weren't interested in talking. They attacked us with such madness that even the brave had their nerves rattled. Our technology proved useless against the furious savage horde. Their giant arrows pierced our armor like it was paper. Only walkers, our elite warriors, offer any resistance against the onslaught. But arrows found weak spots, penetrating cockpit shells, and pilots died from the planet's poisonous atmosphere. Your brother's walker was immobilized. Arrows pierced in circle drives. He couldn't move, but cover the remnants of our retreating detachment for as long as he could fight. Alright, so I've got a robot. I can do like a little, yeah, do a little jiggle dance right there. Yup. Gimme the jiggles. Gimme the jiggles. Every type of weapon at its own reload time. Oh my goodness. Yeah, just keep shooting. They're all here. Kill them. Kill them all. They're shooting, they're shooting arrows at my face. Destroy them. Oh, apparently I've got like a shotgun thing. All right, so I can swing the cockpit. Oh, you got to rock them off the top of it? Gotcha. Okay, so you got to kind of like pick your shots. Understood. Uh, so, oh, yeah. Get off me. Get off me, fool. Get, get off me. Are my legs like busted? Is that why I'm not like moving very good? All right, well you guys do what you think you need to do out here. There you go, there you go, there you go. I got missiles ready to go in just a minute too. Where are my missiles at? Yeah, give me the, oh, nice job missiles. Okay, missiles did their best. Fire the little weird shotgun ghost like, we need the, we need the, we need the rail gun on that guy. That's what, I need more like rail gun in my, there we go. Wipe out a couple of those dudes, perfect. No, I don't know what that is, but it looks important. Oh, this chubby little dude walked up on us like he didn't even care. That's how your brother died. He saved many that day, including me. It's been five years since the colony on El Dorado was founded, and constant battles with the savages have cost us countless lives. There aren't that many of us left, but plenty of them. This is their home. They know every path in this jungle. We've built forts and outposts to protect the colony, but human life on El Dorado remains under constant threat. The job of a walker, your job, is to ensure the safety of the colony by any means necessary. Now let's get started on your first mission. Welcome to El Dorado, walker. All right. You've actually got to like walk this thing manually. Oh my goodness. Okay, I kind of get it, but this is going to take some practice. So basically, what you may not be seeing is that you lift a leg with the W key, or you lift a leg with the S key, and then like A and D decide whether that leg goes forwards or backwards. So like basically, you hold down the D key right now, and then you alternate pressing and holding W and S in order to walk. Like, it's actually kind of an interesting control scheme, though. It definitely makes this thing feel clunky. Here on El Dorado, we communicate with each other through our messenger. It's convenient, doesn't interfere with our work. Move ahead and the message will disappear after a few steps. By the way, don't take too long. Your oxygen supply is limited, and you can only resupply it at a station. 
All right, let's go, man. Your first task is to travel to base B3A and announce your arrival to General Garay. He will give you further instructions. Proceed straight down the road and don't make any turns. Shouldn't be any natives here. Oh, never mind. I didn't get to finish the message. Apparently, I'm walking. I'm going to do little baby steps. There we go. Oh, no. There's natives. Xenos! Destroy them in the name of the Imperium. Uh-oh. Uh, can I just, like, step on them? Is that a valid option? Apparently, I can kind of step on them, but my weapon cooldowns are pretty pretty nasty. So, like, I wouldn't I wouldn't too heavily rely on the fact that we're going to be able to use our laser cannons like ever. So, there we go. I'll just wipe him out. An oxygen leak? No, dude, they're shooting me in my butt cheek. Run. I don't feel like this is working out super great for me. All right, walk backwards. Hold on. We got to laser some of these little pricks. That one's running right there. Yeah, just kind of... I lost track of what I was doing. Give me a second. Oh, dude, sometimes your lasers just go through them. How come the lasers don't count sometimes? Like, I've noticed, like, sometimes your laser, like, doesn't hit them, even though you're aiming, like, right at them. I'll just squish that one. That's fine. We'll shoot that one, too. All right, we seem to be okay. We've patched the oxygen leak. Continue walking, or be a walking, or whatever. You know what? I don't like the fact that you're behind me, so I'm going to try and, like, squish you. Hold on. Stop running away, you little bastard. Yeah, there we go. Savages, where the hell did they come from? A squad cleared this sector just yesterday. Well, at least we didn't lose anybody. That's good for a change. We'll patch up the walker when you reach the base. Yeah, dude, I need some better guns that have, like, a faster reload time on them. We need to, like, overclock these things. I don't know, duct tape some box fans to them. They're not cooling fast enough. We gotta, like, I don't know, put more, put more thermal, put more thermal paste on them. All right, so we get a balanced ratio of oxygen consumption, walking speed, and reload time for weapons. Significantly increases walker speed and decreases weapon reload time while greatly increasing your consumption. And then in this mode, walker speed is reduced, reload time is increased. Uh, okay, so it's like save oxygen mode, basically. So when you're traveling, you want to save oxygen, and then when you get into combat, you want to kick it into one of the other two modes. Makes sense. All right. All right, so there's more enemies coming. All right. Let's see if, like, maybe I can squish some of these dudes. There we go. There we go. That's what's up. Keep firing at them. All right. Squish them. Squish them. Yep, just keep squishing them. The more we can squish, the better. If I'm squishing, they ain't shooting. There we go. Keep squishing. Keep squishing. Hey, get off my, get off my chassis. Get off me. Get off me. Friend. Friend. I don't wish to harm you. Friend. I'm just going to do a little baby step right there. When they're behind you, that's kind of annoying. All right. Rock it back and forth. Let's see if maybe I can get rid of a couple of these guys. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So let me see if, like, maybe I need to, like, there we go. I need to get better at walking backwards. But I do need those guys out from behind me. Now get off of me. Get off. There we go. Perfect. All right. We're looking pretty. Dude, my talons are like soaked in blood right now. It's pretty gnarly and violent. Uh, I'm going to put this into. There we go. I'm going to put this into like rest mode or whatever. I don't know, dude. I have made poor decision making. Oh, no, dude. Oh, there's so many of them. All right, listen, I don't know what my plan is for right now, but if you keep giving me oxygen leaks, I can't succeed as a bee walker, okay? Uh, I need to save oxygen at this point. Uh, yeah, maybe just like squish a few of you behind me. All right, I need you off. Dude, get off. God, there's so many of them, dude. Like, how many of these little, little douchebags do I have to kill? Why don't my lasers hurt them? I feel like my lasers should definitely be impacting the enemy. But it feels like they're kind of not. Just keep walking. Just keep going, man. 
Just keep going. This is not the neighborhood for us. We are beat to hell and back. Dude, I need like a tail gunner or something. That would also be helpful. I'm worried about my oxygen levels if I stop moving, so come on, keep going. Keep going. Alright, you know what? I'm done with this little dude. This little dude need to go. He's beginning to annoy me. There we go. Oxygen is not looking great right now. Hopefully the base is like right up here. Greetings, Walker. I'm pleased that you managed to arrive without incident. Before you ask, no, your little skirmish doesn't warrant mentioning. Such as the daily ritual here on El Dorado. Head straight through to the airlock to the workshop. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's rock this thing. That was tough. That was kind of like the first mission was hard. The first mission was not playing around like at all. Like in the slightest. I felt like for it being my first try too, I feel like I definitely had like a grasp of how to move the walker and like stepping on things and like how to aim your feet to squish as you're firing. The big issue I'm running into is like I'm pleased to welcome you. I am General Daniel Garay, the commander of the Defense Force here on El Dorado. My expectations are simple. Obey my orders. And in the absence of orders, take initiative. Easy enough, I hope. I will contact directly with you during critical situations. For now, you may undertake any available missions in our network. Good luck. Alright. Dude. I had to spend like all my money fixing my stuff. So we got a cooling system. Reduces the cooldown of energy weapons. Yeah, I want that. Give that to me. I want that right now. Give that to me right this second. Uh, we can get better air filters. I think that's probably a good idea. I feel like our oxygen supply was kind of terrible last mission. Oh, we can get some more armor too. We can also have more energy capacity. That might work out. Yeah, let's take more energy capacity. And then apparently we have a, a cheap yet effective weapon against armored troops and vehicles. Oh, is that the, the grenade launcher thing? Yeah, it's the assault cannon with the explosive rounds like we had in the opening mission. Okay, I'm with it. I like it. Yeah, more weapons are always a good idea. Let's go. Uh, so we can throw the... Yeah, mount that thing on there. Perfect. Oh, really? I can put something on the back of my... Vi okay, change my colors? Dude. Okay, okay. so apparently we got to do missions in order to get the custom paint jobs. But you know Splatty's out here, and you know I'm ready to get those custom paint jobs. I'm excited about it. I want to paint my... I want to paint this thing in the blood of the Xeno. All right, we are the Imperium. We cannot be denied. We cannot be contained. Uh, we're, we're actually officially the Imperial Guard at this point, which means we're like the coolest members of the Imperium. Uh, select one of these objectives and set off for battle. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go with labor safety, I guess. Sounds good. Oh, it won't let me discharge my weapons inside the base. Our scouts have noticed a large group of armed savages in Sector D-09. The savages are moving towards a harvesting area and pose a great threat to the workers. Move out and eliminate the danger. You know, this, this is pretty much... I actually... So from looking at the screenshots, I didn't realize how much of the game was going to be 3D. Like, a significant proportion of the game is, like, 3D. It looked like it was just going to be an animated game when I looked at... Uh, let's, go into, let's go into reserve mode for now. I don't think we should be wasting oxygen. I should probably test fire the auto cannon, but like, I don't know, man. Test firing the auto cannon seems like maybe I might need it in a minute. Oh, we got enemies coming in. Open fire. Yep. Just shoot at them. There we go. Take them out. Uh, I can't see these dudes, so I don't know if I'm squishing them effectively. Yeah, let's let's do a little bit more stompy, stompy. There we go, stompy, stompy. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, shoot that guy. Now we need to go backwards, and we need to stompy, stompy that guy. There we go. Perfect. We had to suspend the extraction of resources. All personnel are on alert. We're ready to face the savages. Let them try and show up. Yeah, well, they're here, so you better get ready for that eventuality. I'm pretty sure they are here, and they are ready to rock. All right. Ready to fire. Let's go. Oh, that was a good one right there. 
That was a good one. All right, we'll smush those guys. I got another oxygen leak, which is really kind of unfortunate. Squish as many as I can each time that I can. There you go. Why is that not hurting him? Hurt him. I don't feel like I'm being that demanding with the hurt that I desire that you make. Maybe it has to do with the color of the... Oh my god, it's a suicide bomber. Oh, that's not good. Now I'm on fire. Nope, don't like that much. Definitely not a fan. Oh yeah, it's like target acquired or something. I don't know exactly how it works, but the laser turns to green whenever it seems to kill someone. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Okay, I don't know how I feel about that, but uh, I'm gonna have to go backwards and we're gonna have to squish some of these dudes. Yeah, exactly. Although going backwards does not seem to, well, no, it killed that guy when it was blue. I don't know, man. I don't know. I definitely think we should probably squish a couple more of these dudes. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it back into reserve mode because we're wasting a lot of, God, that knockback thing. There we go, perfect. Like sometimes it knocks them hella far back but when you're trying to step on them and it just causes problems. Uh, we'll see if the oxygen filter holds out. I don't know if it will. If that's not our last skirmish, we have problems. Yep, just keep walking it. Good job, Walker. None of the savages got to our workers. Mining is going to resume soon. We'll fix up the Walker too. Nice, dude. Do I get a free re do I get a free refill? Is this like going to Taco Bell? Like, I, I feel like I I've, I've destroyed a lot of your enemies, and you owe me this. You should probably fix my shit for free. That's just my thought. Like, I don't know. I'm part of a military right now, right? Like, if there's a fighter jet and it takes a little bit of damage. I don't feel like the fighter pilot has to pay from his own wages to repair it, you know what I mean? Like, I'm part of, like, a system here. Like, I would assume I just take this thing to the hangar, you give me a new one, and you go work on the old one and give it to some other schmuck. That's just what I was thinking. Um, I guess I gotta pay for my own repairs. Feels terrible. Oxygen continued to be the main problem on that mission. So I'm going to continue adding more air filters. Because oxygen is the number one thing that I'm running out of. Uh, it is the biggest problem. So that's already... I want to know what goes on the back right here. Oh, it's not on the back. That's going to be the missile launcher or whatever. Okay. Like, can I... I can't mount anything there just yet. So we've got a eliminate the natives near A33. We can do that. I'm ready. My body is ready and willing. Suspicious activity by the natives has been observed near outpost A33. Check the surroundings of the outpost carefully to ensure the safety of our personnel. This is definitely, I can see this is like part rage game and nobody warned me. Like with the way the control system works, it's got definite aspects of like getting over it there. Where, where like the control scheme and wrestling with the control scheme is kind of like part of the challenge of the game. The good news is, is that in a lot of cases when you're wrestling with a control scheme in a game, it can be an impediment, like it can be a problem, but in this game it actually adds to the sort of like weighty, swingy, sway, unwieldy kind of nature of like piloting a giant robot, which I think actually works out pretty good. Alright, let's go ready to fire here. Oh, he's on top of me. Get get out of here. Get out get out of here. Go away, you little shits. There we go. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, that was a good one right there. That was a good one right there. All right, we're going to step on this guy. Step on this guy. There we go. Oh, I'm getting the hang of this. Mm-hmm. Yep, this walker pilot's getting a feel for it now. Oh, he's behind me. That's like one of the worst things that can happen. I don't like it when they're behind me. That means they just deal like concurrent damage. Let's go get him real fast. I think I can squish him right there. There we go. This isn't the first time the savages have been in A33, and these are definitely not hunters. All the animals in the area have been scared off by noise and machinery. Okay. Oh, God. I got scared for a second. Did that flying thing just drop a bomb on me? Dude, I think it did. I think it legit dropped a bomb on me. They're, like, dropping, like, thermite. They're, like, dropping thermite on me or something. There we go. Squish this dude. Squish that dude. There we go. Perfect. Uh, is that ready to go? I was gonna say, if that's ready to go, we should use the auto cannon. Perfect. 
I'm still vexed as to why my laser doesn't always impact. Maybe it's just got like a chance to hit. I don't know. Like, because sometimes it feels like the laser is really, really good, and then other times I'm like, laser, how have you done this to me? I definitely need these dudes out from behind me. Yeah, I, I think maybe there's just like, I gotta get used to the targeting. It looks like it has to be lined up with their upper chest. I don't have anything to stop that from happening. None of my weapons aim upwards, so I think we're just gonna have to live with that. Although I do think that upgrading our oxygen canisters is working out great. Our oxygen feels a lot better than it was last time. Uh, we are, however, on fire. So, you know, things to consider. Thank God you got through, Walker. Unfortunately, not all walkers are able to accomplish their missions and make it back. Two machines were burned by the savages. I like this game, actually. This is really, really cool. So my initial trepidation about my rifle being kind of uh, the cooldown on it being really, really long. I, I think, honestly, it's just that first mission. None of these other missions have actually been that difficult. It's just that first mission because you don't really know the controls yet and you haven't learned to, like, move the walker's second nature. Like, you haven't figured out the rhythm of walking the legs yet and, like, how to swap from, like, forward to backwards, like, easily, like that right there, and then back to forwards again. Like, you haven't figured out how to do it. And so, like, essentially this game kind of throws you into the deep end, like, really, really fast without any training. And so you kind of get, like, wrecked in that first mission have a hard time with it. But, like, I think if you hang with it, you're going to be okay, and you're going to figure it out. It's not that bad. Uh, my name is Splattercat. This is B.O. Walker, a game that I'm actually kind of infatuated with. I like it. It's got sandbox aspects where you're upgrading your walker. You get to pick and choose your missions, kind of mech warrior mercenary style as much as you want to. There is strategery to it. There is kind of a rhythm to the game. There is kind of a feel to it. And I think they locked it in really, really well. Uh, I think if they do like a tiny bit of balancing on that first mission, because that first mission I think is going to like, I think a lot of new players are going to stub their toe on that first mission. It's hard. That first mission was the hardest part we've played so far. The rest of the missions, like once you figure it out, it's not too bad. But maybe like a set of kind of like training dummies or something at the beginning of the game. So you go into like the walker part where you get into your walker. And then before you get to the first mission, maybe, you know, there's like training dummies and it teaches you that you can step on them or you can shoot them. You know, like just letting you know what your options are before you hit that first mission. But honestly, it wasn't that bad. I, I liked it. I I've really, really enjoyed this title. So check it on out. I'll have a link for you down below in the description. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day in the world of indie gaming so you don't have to. This it was Be a Walker or B A Walker, B 3 A Walker, something. I don't know. The title's hard, okay? I'm bad at reading in graduate kindergarten, all right? You're going to bear with me. I will see you all next time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the Discord. It is the gathering place for our entire community. It's down in the description. I also have a Twitch stream where I'd love to hang out with you every single day of the week. Hi, do it. Take care, everybody. That's all I got for you. Goodbye.